The Nevada Hotel Management System is an integrated information system which allows hotels to manage their operation and serve guests better. It is a fully customizable, web-based electronic guest record system EGRS and can be integrated with our customer relationship management module. Our system assists hotel administrators in performing the management functions of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling and coordinating. Our hotel management system provides the necessary functions to address these issues. The hotel management system provides the ability to manage guest information, field display information, guest room display information, restaurant information, housekeeping services, room administration, hotel maintenance, inventory management, asset management, and hotel reporting. Our hotel management system provides a guest management system that provides complete assistance in guest management. In the module of the guest management system you can register guests, check guests in for their stay, check guests out, and searching for existing guests. We will now demonstrate how to make a guest reservation. If the guest has not stayed at the hotel before you first start with entering the checkout date for the guest. Since this is a walk-in reservation, the system uses the current date as the check-in date. If this were a phone reservation, the system would require you to enter both the check-in date and the check-out date. If the guest has previously stayed at the hotel, you can click on the Find Existing Guest tab and search for the guest and fill in the necessary information to find the guest. Once the guest has been found or added to the system you can continue making the guest's reservation. Based upon the search criteria you entered in the previous screen the result will be displayed. You can click on the guest's name to continue the reservation process. In our example we will search for an existing guest and conduct the reservation process. You now can enter the number of adults and children that will be staying. Once you have entered the number of adults and children that will be staying and you clicked on the reserve button you will receive a confirmation message regarding the reservation. We will now demonstrate how to update a guest reservation. By clicking on the update slash cancel guest reservation the following screen is displayed. You can now search for the guest. The first and last name fields are required when performing a search. Based upon the search criteria you entered in the previous screen the result will be displayed. You can click on one of the guests and this screen will be displayed which allows you to update the guest's reservations. We will now demonstrate how to perform the guest check-in process. When you click on the Find Guest button this screen is displayed. You have to enter the first name and last name. You can also enter additional information to narrow the search and limit the number of guests that are displayed in the search results. Based upon the search criteria entered in the previous screen, the search results are displayed. Once you click on the appropriate guest this screen will be displayed which will list all of the reservations this guest has made. You then can then click on the reservation date you want to administer. You can now update the reservation or continue the check-in process by clicking on the list available room information button. In our example we clicked on the list available room information button and this screen is displayed. In the pull down box you can select a guest room. In our example we only have one room type. Based upon the information entered in the display settings you can have a number of different room types. You can now gather the guest's payment method information. We will now demonstrate how to perform the guest checkout process. Once you have clicked on the checkout button from the hotel main menu, this screen will be displayed. You can ask the guest for the room and enter that into the room number field, then click on the search for guest button. Based upon the information entered on the previous screen the results will be displayed. You can then verify with the guest that you have the correct guest displayed. Once you have confirmed with the guest you can click on the guest name and the screen will be displayed. This provides the details regarding the reservation. Once you verify with the guest you can click on the make payment button and enter their payment information. The next feature we will discuss is the housekeeping services administration. By clicking on the Housekeeping Service button from the main menu the screen is displayed. 
This allows the for the entering of housekeeping requests the completed housekeeping requests and room inspection information all to be recorded in the system. This ensures that the facilities are maintained in a healthy and protected manner. We will now discuss the restaurant services feature. By clicking on the restaurant selection from the main hotel menu the following screen is displayed. From this screen you can perform guest reservation functions, manage restaurant menu items, manage restaurant menu categories, manage restaurant menu items categories, and table setup and administration. By clicking on Make Dining Reservation from the restaurant main menu, this screen will be displayed which allows you to make a reservation for a dining guest. By clicking on Start Guest Dining Reservation from the restaurant main menu, this screen will be displayed which allows you to search for a dining guest. This screen displays all of the dining guests based upon the search criteria. You can now click on a guest to continue the reservation process. You can now view the dining reservation details and confirm with the guest. If there are changes required you can make the necessary changes and update the reservation information. If the guest would like to cancel the reservation you can delete the reservation by clicking on the delete reservation button. By clicking on search for dining order from the restaurant main menu, this screen will be displayed which allows you to search by table name or by dining order to start entering the guest's order information. Once you have entered the information regarding the order this screen is displayed showing the dining guest order information. You can then click on the table name to continue the dining order. From this screen you can either enter breakfast items or lunch items or any other menu categories such as dinner. Once you have entered the quantities and any comments associated with the items ordered you can click on the start order button at the bottom of the screen. By clicking on guest dining order from the restaurant main menu, this screen will be displayed which allows you to select the table in which you want to place or update a dining order. The next feature we will discuss is the restaurant menu item administration. From the restaurant main menu you can add menu items, update menu items, search for menu items, and delete menu items. The menu item administration allows you to enter the menu item name, select the menu type and category. You can also enter the calories, price and a description about the menu item. The next feature we will discuss is the restaurant menu categories administration. From the restaurant main menu you can add menu categories, update menu categories, search for menu categories, and delete menu categories. We will choose to search menu categories and this screen will be displayed. This shows all of the menu categories that have been entered into the system. From this screen you can choose a menu category to view the menu category details. The next feature we will discuss is the restaurant menu item categories administration. From the restaurant main menu you can add menu item categories, update menu item categories, search for menu item categories, and delete menu item categories. We will choose to search menu item categories and this screen will be displayed. This shows all of the menu item categories that have been entered into the system. From this screen you can choose a menu category to view the menu item category details. The last feature of the restaurant management section we will discuss is the restaurant table administration. From the restaurant main menu you can add tables, update tables, search for tables, and delete tables. The table administration allows you to enter the table name and select the table type. You can also enter the table seating capacity table locations, and a table description. The next feature we will discuss is the hotel management reporting capabilities. The system comes with Kent Hotel reports, employee reports, work schedule reports, and payroll and timesheet reports. There is also an ad hoc report engine that allows you to build and save your own reports. The reports selection screen provides the option to either select an existing employee report, or to create a new report. In our example we will create a new report. This is done by selecting create a report. In our ad hoc report selection we will focus on data fields associated with employee information, payroll information, and job information. Select make ad hoc report selections and the fields associated with these three categories of information will be displayed.
A total of seven fields have been selected to be displayed on the report. One or more of these seven fields can likewise be used as selection criteria in creating the report. Select ad hoc report selections to continue the process of creating an ad hoc report. In our example we have identified the display order of the seven fields selected for the report, with the sorting being strictly by last name only. Please note for all seven fields to be identified and listed on the report, they must be assigned a display order. For example, although date hired was a field we initially selected to be on the report, if we omit that from being in the display order, the date hired field will not be displayed on the report. Select ad hoc report selections to move to the next step in creating the ad hoc report. In our test database, these are the managers or supervisors. Once the report is created, the report can be saved or emailed by clicking the applicable tabs. In our example we will select Save Report. The final step in saving the ad hoc report would be to associate the report with one of the viewing types and section names. In our example we'll associate this report with the section entitled Employee Information. Once you have saved the report you will receive a confirmation message that the report has been saved. The report screen now shows the report that has just been saved and the report can be run again by clicking on the name of the report. We will now discuss the field display settings feature which allows you to determine which fields in various sections of the system will be displayed. By clicking on the field settings display from the hotel main menu this screen will be displayed. You will notice that you have the ability to update guest demographic field display information, guest room display information, guest room rates display information, and guest room types display information. This screen displays the guest demographic information that you determine should be displayed when a hotel guest reservation is being booked. This screen displays some of the guest room information that you determine should be displayed when identifying what fields should be displayed to manage guest room information. This screen displays some of the guest room rate information that you determine should be displayed when identifying what fields should be displayed to manage guest room rate information. You also have the ability to enter what text will be displayed with the associated field. You also have the ability to update the pricing disclaimer text, booking policy text, cancellation policy, and the variations explanation. This screen displays the room types information that you determine should be displayed when a hotel guest reservation is being booked. You also have the ability to enter what text will be displayed with the associated field. We will now discuss event services feature. To perform the events administration functions you can click on events calendar administration. To register for an event you can click on view and register for events. We will click on events calendar administration. This screen shows how events can be managed by the events administrator. If the event requires people to register, then you can click on the event attendance information to get a list of all of the guests that registered for the event. Additionally, you can click on the event roster to get the people that did attend the event. You can determine if there will be a fee for the event, the dates of the event, if the event is open to the public, description for the event, assign a link that provides more information about the event, and if the event requires guests to register for the event. This screen displays all of the functions that are available in the inventory control system and is used for track inventory levels orders, sales and deliveries. Our inventory management software enables the organization to avoid product overstock and outages. Please note that you can also determine what fields are displayed by clicking on Update Inventory Display Information. By clicking on Search Product the following screen is displayed. This screen displays the products that are displayed based upon the search criteria. From the previous screen you can click on the product and view the product details information. If you would like to know more about the inventory control system, please watch the inventory control video or the inventory control PowerPoint presentation. The next feature we will discuss is asset management. Our asset management software allows you to record and track an asset throughout its life cycle. 
from procurement to disposal. The system provides an organization with information such as location of the assets, staff members or departments which use the assets, how the assets are being utilized and details about the assets. The asset management software is used for management of both software and hardware assets. Please note that you have the ability to determine what information is displayed by clicking on Update Asset Display Information. By clicking on Search Asset Information this screen is displayed. Based upon the search criteria entered on the previous screen, the search results are displayed. From this screen you can click on an asset to view the asset details. This screen displays the asset details. If you would like to know more about the asset management system, please watch. The next function we will discuss is the wake-up call administration. If a guest requests a wake-up call, the information can be managed by this function. From the main menu you can add wake-up calls, update wake-up calls, search for wake-up calls, and delete wake-up calls. This screen displays the information that can be captured when entering a wake-up call request. The room number, date, and time can be entered. The next function we will discuss is the guest follow-up administration. If the hotel wants to follow up with the guest, the information can be managed by this function. From the main menu you can add guest follow-ups, update follow-ups, search for follow-ups, and delete follow-ups. To add a guest follow-up you will have to enter the room number, reservation date and the date in which you want to follow up with the guest. Depending upon how the system is configured an email can be sent on the day the follow-up is to be conducted. Once the follow-up has been added, you will receive a confirmation message notifying you that the follow-up has been added. We will now discuss the room display settings function. This function allows you to configure what fields are displayed when administering room information. This screen displays some of the accommodations that can be in each room when you are administering room information. From the main menu you can add rooms, update rooms, search for rooms, and delete rooms. The fields that are displayed are determined by the settings in the display field settings feature. The equipment in the room can also be integrated with the asset management system for additional tracking capabilities. The hotel room administration allows you to add update search, and delete rooms that are in the hotel. We will now discuss how to add a room. By clicking on Add for Room Information the following screen is displayed. When adding a room you select what amenities are available in the room by selecting Yes in the pull-down selection box associated with the amenity. Once you have made the necessary selection you will click on the Add Room Information button to add the room. The hotel room administration allows you to update rooms that have been added to the system. To update a room from the hotel main menu select update for room information the following screen is displayed. By clicking on update for room information from the main menu the screen will appear that allows you to enter the room number, select room status, sleeping capacity, number of bedrooms, number of beds, and room type. Once you have entered the desired information you can click on the Update Room Information button. Based upon the search criteria entered on the previous screen, the room search results are displayed. From this screen you can click on a room number to update the room information. The same fields are displayed as when you are adding a room to the system. The difference being the fields are filled in with the information you entered when adding the room. You can change the information and click on the update room information which will save the changes. The hotel room administration allows you to search for rooms that have been added to the system. To search for a room from the hotel main menu select search for room information the following screen is displayed. By clicking on search for room information from the main menu the screen will appear that allows you to enter the room number, select room status sleeping capacity, number of bedrooms, number of beds, and room type. Once you have entered the desired information you can click on the search room information button. Based upon the search criteria entered on the previous screen, the room search results are displayed. From this screen you can click on a room number to view the room details. The hotel room administration allows you to delete rooms that have been added to the system. 
To delete a room from the hotel main menu select delete for room information the following screen is displayed. By clicking on search for room information from the main menu the screen will appear that allows you to enter the room number, select room status, sleeping capacity, number of bedrooms, number of beds, and room type. Once you have entered the desired information you can click on the delete room information button. Based upon the search criteria entered on the previous screen, the room search results are displayed. From this screen you can click on a room number to delete the room. The next feature we will discuss is the hotel maintenance request. This is used by the hotel maintenance staff to manage the hotel facility. When adding a maintenance request this screen allows you to identify the exact problem that the maintenance staff will need to address. The request can then be tracked and updated by the maintenance staff. The next feature we will discuss is the hotel amenities. This feature allows you to select the amenities that are available at your hotel and to enter a description about the amenity. You can select such things as hotel dining, hotel continental breakfast, hotel fitness center, hotel golf, hotel tennis and others as well. The next feature we will discuss is the hotel room rates. His feature allows you to display room rate information based upon the information that was selected in the field display settings. From the main menu you can update room rates. In our example we can have different room rates for the winter, spring, summer, and fall months. We can also have different rates for weekends, special occasions, and holidays. Depending on the number of room types you will have the ability to enter rate information for each room type and the selected rates. From the hotel main menu you can perform basic housekeeping functions by using the room housekeeping required and room housekeeping completed which were previously discussed. This concludes our presentation on the Knovada Hotel Management System. Thank you for your interest in our software.